SSFL Prevention Division. And here, those of you who know Fatima Grong, and the f there is the Fatima lineup. Christian Bailey is the skipper. There's Johannes Atherton, Jaden Williams, Aidan the Guns, Elijah Camacho, Michael Chaves, uh, Kate Collier, uh, Micaiah Leach, Levy Smith, Jediah King, and the goalkeeper, the very uh, trustworthy Tristan uh, Edwards. Let's have a look, Brent, at the formation. Well, we talked about uh, some of the changes we might see tactically. Now, Jaden Williams has been pushed into a middle, a midfield position. Christian Bailey, who normally plays wide out right, is now asked to play through the middle. So we mentioned in the build-up to this game, Colin, about the tactical changes that Hudson Charles likes to make to his squad. And now we've seen it here this afternoon uh, in this fixture. Well, there is the Mukarapu team just saying their final prayers. Let's have a look at their lineup as uh, their starting lineup. Deshaun Alexander name uh, Taylor, Clint Latchman. He's going to be the danger. Malik Jarvis, uh, Kadira Tiba, Melakai Henry, Jaden McShine, Jelani Cox, Al Kapia Henry, uh, Kufu Mohammed, and Jarrell Brewster. That is their uh, lineup as Deshaun Alexander is the man in goal. Let's have a look at their formation. Well, look for Atiba to be the solidity in the middle of the park. Latchman, a goal scorer already, uh, is uh, quite a tricky customer up front. He would lead the line for the boys from East Mokarapo, senior. Where you have to say that uh, Fatima won handsomely in the end. But let's have a look at the highlights. As uh, it started here with Michael Shaves, brilliant goal. He took it so very well. Um, it was uh, the rebound, and there was the ball by Degan sent into Shades, and he banged it into that far corner to make it a one goal to nil. And then Smith with the cross, and the shot from Degan didn't have the power, and Alexander held on to it. This is Gulston, had that opportunity, probably the best opportunity Mukarapo had, uh, East Mukarapo. He couldn't uh, find the back of the net. He tried to place it away from goalkeeper Edwards and wasn't able to do uh, that. And then Fatima coming forward again, and uh, that is a good bit of goalkeeping. He anticipated well, did Alexander. But up the left side, this was Atherton uh, sending that ball infield, but too close to Alexander. And again, uh, he was keeping really well at that point in time. But Bailey sends the ball across. Here's Deckel. Finds the back. Too much space. Too much room for Deckel. And uh, he was able to control it. He stopped it and then put it into the back of the net. So that was two goals to nil. And then uh, there was a Deckel there, the replay of that Deckel's goal. He had just too much time. He was able to take that ball on his right foot, put it on the left, and then Mason, making that run through, just didn't have enough power and was cleared off the line by Cox. Good defending at that point in time. It was still 2-0, and Mukurapo were certainly in the game. Um, but it all went wrong after that for them. As this was an attack up that left side. There goes Bailey. The keeper came out, didn't get all of it, and Bailey bangs it into the net to make it three goals to nil. Long ball played, and Bailey running on to it, gets the better of the keeper, and then was able to slot it home to make it three goals to nil. And then Alcantara coming on as a substitute from a difficult angle, uh, side-footed it, went to the far post. The keeper wasn't able to punch it. It actually came off of his hands and went into the back of the net and made it a 4-0. And then the shot coming off the, the crossbar. We went into 90 minutes of this game and with Fatima leading 4-0 and then Alcantara again winning possession just at the edge of the box and banging it into the back of the net. And there it is, making it five goals to nil, an emphatic victory in the end for Fatima as a referee Derry blows the whistle to indicate it was full time. And let's have a look at the stats. Uh, shots, 11 to 7 from Fatima as opposed to East Mukarapo. Shots on target, 7 for Fatima, 4 for East Mukarapo. Nine fouls to 4 uh, committed by Fatima as opposed to East Mukarapo. Four yellow cards for Fatima. 
two yellow cards for East Mokrapo, one red card for East Mokrapo. There were three offsides to one, six corners to four in favor of Fatima. Seven saves by the East Mokrapo keeper as opposed to four by Fatima. And look at that final, that final uh, possession there, 65 to 35, but an emphatic victory by Fatima, five goals to nil. Let's go down to hands. He's got the man of the match with him. And you do have the man of the match, the man that opened the scoring today, Michael Shaves. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, can you take us through what was going through your mind for that first goal, the opener of today? Um, well, in my head, I'm thinking goal. I'm thinking get that shot off as quick as possible and just finish it and let hopefully, and it luckily it hit the back of the net. <laughs> well, congratulations to you on that one. What are your goals for the rest of the season? Well, for me, this season is all about goals. I'm aiming for big numbers and hopefully I can keep it up for the rest of the season. And there it is, a recap of that goal that started it today. All right, thank you very much. Congratulations going to Michael Chaves. We now have Brent Sancho with our coaches this evening. Thank you very much, Hans. Of course, uh, coach, a couple moments of indiscipline within this game. Me, of course, Mokrapo, your assessment of the 90 minutes. Yeah, well, um, the game started fairly well. But then we, some, on, uh, some calls that we didn't really like, you know, from the referees, even the linesmen and things. But, you know, in football, we know how things happen. So we have, just have to play as it goes on. Of course, uh, the scoreline is not what you really nah. wanted. Going into the, the, the rest of the season, are there things within this game that you saw that certainly needs to be worked on going into your yeah, next well, fixture? We, we, we was a little too casual, especially in the defensive part of the game day, but I know on offensively, we, we was fairly well. You know what I mean? So we'll, we, we'll have to go back home and do our homework. And we will come again. Thank you very much, Coach. All the best. Thank you very much. Coach, Coach, an emphatic victory. Your assessment of the 90 yeah. minutes plus. Um, yes, I'm thankful for the, the victory. Thankful for the three points. You know what I mean? Um, I thought we guys, I, I still feel we could have done much more. You know, at, at times we give them too, mu too much room to play. Right? But that's something we're going to work on in the third game. And there's still a lot of room for improvement. Well, I know you're talking about improvement. I could either pick two, the amount of goals you've scored so far, but I, I want to hone into the fact that you haven't conceded thus yet in the season. I'm talking about the, the regular season for the SSFL. Uh, is that a testament to some of the work that you would have done defensively since the Super Cup game? Oh, well, yes. Um, my defensive coach, you know, I mean, Isham Gomes, um, he's been working with these guys most of the sessions, right? And um, that's a testament to the work that he's putting in, that we haven't considered as yet. Thank you very much, Coach. All the best. Thank you. Well, we say thank you very much to... Welcome to SSFL Premiership Division.